What's up and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to create and today we'll be covering how to animate the mystery box. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the Discord. This one's pretty cool and I'm excited to get into it. Let's go. Make sure you have a mystery box that can open and close. You can you can make your own. You can just have two different pieces. Make sure you put them together so then it makes it into that openable mystery box. I think that looks pretty good. In the outline, we're going to right-click where the lid is, go to attach to. Grab the dropper and attach it to the bottom part of the mystery box. Wherever we move the bottom part of the mystery box, the lid will follow. First, we just need a place to put the cinematics. Let's go ahead and place down, a, or let's grab that. Let's call this MB1 open and close and go into it. What we are going to be animating are both of these items. Click the lid of the mystery box and that is what we're going to animate. So add track is add the transform. Put this on about 30 degrees, depending on the space you have for your mystery box. Go to about 10, and then I need to go up one, add a keyframe, move it to about the 30 millisecond mark, and then push it all the way back. So maybe go, get a good angle, but don't go too far. Like go past the straight up and down. So whatever's past 90, and then put a keyframe on the 30. Now that we have that, when we play this, and in reverse, I don't mind that. That's just something simple. Save it, and then we're going to exit. Go ahead and go back to your content drawer, right click and add a new level sequence. We're gonna call this MB1 exit. Click both of these, add both actors into the cinematic. For the lid, we're going to transform. Just make sure you have the transforms. Click the lid. Open this up to 90. So where the mystery box opens to the max or just whatever you have, just make sure it's the same exact position keyframe both of those into place now we're starting with an open lid 30 second mark we're going to put more keyframes there just to give them some time to like have that teddy bear show with the grid snap of 128 put the up arrow go up one jump put a keyframe on the base close the box and then keyframe it we're going to add some more in like details into it but for now go to the 75 mark base of the box clicked let's rotate it forward Take your grid snap to about 32. Let's go down. Let's put that base in place. Then let's go to 90 to turn it upside down. Go there. Go to the one, what is that? The 105. Let's go turn it 90 degrees, place it. Actually, let's put that again. Let's place that one. We could go down. For the final one, just shoot it into the sky. And then we can play at that transform. Okay, let's go to the end. Let's see it. So then with the keyframes, you can always adjust. Wow. Tell me that doesn't look cool. Now the mystery box is up there, so let's pull this. Yeah, let's just keep this like halfway from now. So bring it all the way back down. Bring that just underneath the ground, right where the mystery box is. Place a keyframe. On that keyframe, right click. Linear. Is it linear? I'm pretty sure linear goes straight to, straight to the point, yes. You don't really want that to be seen, right? It's gonna be opened. Oh, you can kind of. It, it, to me, it feels like you can see the box. We'll save that, we'll save that. Since we have to have one that brings the uh, the mystery box in, then we're gonna call this enter. Have the current box way in the sky of where it starts. I didn't move this, oh my goodness. What we need to do is just bring this down. Put a transform right there. Let's kind of spread this out a little bit. Let's put this on like the 60. When we play it, here we go. A little too smooth. So I'm gonna get you right there. Let's put another one. Let's extend this part. We need this part spread out, don't we? Let's go from here. Let's expand this. Cause I want it to look like a soft landing. If I delete that, let's see what that looks like. 
I like it. It can be softer though. It can be softer. Let's put, a, put that there. Let's extend this to, let's put this on about 45. 60 and 75. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Look how softly it landed. Let's grab the red parts. Bring this all the way over here. There we go. Save that, and we're going to exit. Yeah, let's go actually back into in-game. There it is, the cinematic device. We need three of these things. Let's do some settings on here first. MB1 animation. Play blueback, no autoplay, no everyone. Yes, finishing behavior, let's keep state. Now we can copy these. One, two, three. Go back into the editor. Okay, let's put... Uh, this is going to be enter. This one's going to be exit. And this one is going to be the open close. Save. And we're going to push changes. Okay, let's rename this one. Open close. Let's actually make the, the mystery box like functional. MB one timer. I'm just testing it. So let's go to like a, a eight. Applies to player. Reset. We don't need this on HUD. This on start. Yeah, I didn't even add a start. We have to put lid. Lid. Okay, so on button, on button pressed, which this is a button. On button pressed, let's go ahead and the open close. Let's play that. This is just showing the animation. So obviously you would connect your mechanics to the mystery box mechanics. I have a video on it if you don't know how to do that. But this is just kind of showing you what it looks like. The MB lid, we're going to disable. Then on timer, success, open, close, we're going to play in reverse. In a perfect world, I'll probably do a delay timer to re-enable to re it. Let me add that actually. Enable trigger. People can't activate it when it's closing or like doing any animations. Turn off those annoying things. We just need a, a trigger delay. Let's put that on like, Let's do like two seconds on that trigger. Timer, we're going to trigger this. And then when triggered, we're going to do MB lid button. We're going to enable. Let's see if we can hurry up and get this to work. Okay, mystery box. Have the timer going. God, here they come, here they come. Let's see it close. There we go, look at that. It's clean and it's re-enabled. Okay, we have the opening. Let's exit this. Okay. You might be better off putting the animation just straight up there and keeping it, maybe shrinking the box, and then opening it back up to come back down, maybe. Enter. Perfect. When finishing the animation, I would re I would re-enter, like re-trigger it. Can I, can I trigger this? Oh, I can. Perfect. Open, close, re-triggers, open, exit. See how the animation just kind of took it? It has to be smooth in a sense where the the start of this animation and the end of that one has to connect. So it doesn't look, it looks very seamless. Don't let the button of the mystery box be enabled the whole time because as soon as it comes down, people will start trying to like click it just so that it, it will break the mystery box. <laughs> that's the part you do not want to happen so just be mindful make sure you're giving the times for the animations to play and you should be good honestly click the trigger go to the trigger and then add new to the dropper on this one on stop so as soon as that stops you can trigger that to in like re-enable it should automatically enter by itself it's disabled it's disabled and it's open. There you go. You've seen it. You've seen it. And it's able to be open. And that is it for today's video. Once again, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the Discord. As well as let me know in the comment section what do you want to see next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.